Thank you so much for joining us, uh, Evander. We're so excited to have you in Portland. We're going to take some questions today from media. Media, if you could use the raise hand feature, if you have a question, um, I'll call on you when it's your turn. Please um, limit it to just one follow up. And then if you have another question, we'll circle back around once we get through everyone. So we have Evander here joining us from Rio de Janeiro. Um, Evander, thank you so much. We'll start things off with Nick Krepke. Uh, you're welcome. I'm very excited. Um... Oh, let's start. Evander, welcome to town. Uh, just the main question, why Portland? Why MLS now? Uh, is the opportunity that I have, is the opportunity that, that came. I think it matches together as well. Uh, my dreams, my wishes with the partial and ambitions as well. Uh, and I think it's a, it's a big opportunity for me, for my career to grow. Uh, I think it would be so important for me for the club as well. Talking about the relationship you already have with like head coach Gio Sabarese, who you've obviously been in contact with for quite a while now. Sorry? Talk to me about the relationship you have with Gio Sabarese. Obviously, you guys have been in touch numerous times in, in the process, um, the connection you have with head coach Gio. Um... It's it's a good relationship we have. Um, I think we we'll have we'll have talked about a lot of things, a lot of good things, a lot of projects and ambition for the clubs as well. Um, the aims is is the same, so uh, the the relation is good. Yep. All right. Next, we'll go to Tom Bogart. Thank you. Thanks for taking the time, Evander. Congrats on the move. Um, if you could just take me back to. I guess the first time that you found out that Portland were interested, what your first feelings were and what those kind of talks were and why that you thought this project was right. And, you know, there had been a lot of reports about interest in you from other clubs, say in Europe, you know, whatever was true or false, but like what led all of this to be the right move, the right time? Uh, I think first thoughts was, of course, to know the club, to know the city, to know everything about the club. And and I thought it's, it's, it's a big club in MLS. Um, uh, a club that has a strong team as well, and and I'm very happy to join the club. Um, the opportunity came uh, in a moment that uh, I think in a good moment for both of us between the club and me as well. Uh, of course, the expect expectation from everybody was for me to stay in Europe, but it's it's not a it's not a thing that take me down going to MLS it's just a it's just a thing that's make me grow as well um I see that MLS is growing even more and of course I have a lot of ambitions still I have a lot of dreams and I think I can realize that in MLS together with Portugal all right we'll go to Ryan Clark next Uh, congrats on the move. Just wanted to ask you if, if you know much about the city of Portland and, and what you've learned so far. Uh, I know a little bit. Um, it's a uh, Rose Cities. Um, uh, it's, I, I know a little, a little things still. I'm still studying about the city, about the country, about the, the, the area as well. So it's... it's is things I, I've seen things that make me excited as well. So uh, I'm very happy with the move. Um, I'm very anxious also to to know the city even better, to know the the club, to know all my teammates, all this stuff, and uh, it's gonna be a good thing for everybody. And on the field, uh, what do you think you bring to this club, and and uh, where do you see yourself fitting in? Um, I'll try to, to, to bring my best for the team, for the club, uh, bring all my energy, all, all everything I know about, about soccer. I'll bring everything for, for the club. I'll do everything to, to achieve the, the MLS trophy as well. Um, I'm very excited to, 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 get some time, to, to get some title with the club. All right, next we'll go to Sam Spiller. Sam, are you there? Uh, 
Great, Sam, we'll come back to you. Um, next, we'll go to Adam Luna. Bienvenido, Evander. Uh, uh, what what are your uh, when when you first heard about the interest of uh, you know from Portland Timbers of you coming to to Portland? Did you did you uh, thought about it? I mean, did you had second thoughts? Did you have any other offers? Was this your first and main biggest offer uh, to come and play to the MLS, or were there any other teams you know interested in the MLS from from you about you? In the beginning of the transfer window in Europe, we had an offer from Galatasaray. We think that uh, almost worked, but you know, between the clubs, where it didn't. And then came Portland with the with the interest, and of course, with all the project that the club has for me. And you know, I like it a lot. And it was a thing that you know, I didn't. I didn't even think about it, I just accept because it matched. And of course, going to Portland. And now I just have to, you know, do it for, for all of the fans, all of the the players, all of the the people that trusted me. And let's make it happen. I'm so happy. Do, do you um obviously you know you've been following probably the MLS and you've seen the all the Brazilians that are coming. To the to the MLS teams, you know, and and some of them, you know, are you know at their end of their career, you know, like we had Pato here, you know, uh, we have Kaká, and you know, mostly in Orlando. And uh, what what do you think, you know, uh, you're bringing to the MLS? Um, you know, I I'm I'm 100 sure that I'm bringing it. Uh, I'm bringing a, you know. Uh, I think that people people can can say that oh Brazilian Brazilian players or a lot of players go for for MLS just for money or things like that. But I'm I'm gonna show the opposite way. I'm gonna show that in MLS as well you can grow, you can play for for really you know for win for for really hard work for for putting some competition on it. So. That's what I'm trying. I'm gonna try to bring for, or to show them that it's not, it's not all about for money or for just you know easy life and everything like that. I'm gonna show that MLS has a hard work as well, has a big league, a lot of big players, and is a big league as well. All right, Sam Spiller, let's try it again. Hey, Vander. Sorry about the technical issues before. Um, in your goodbye speech, your farewell speech, uh, you said that it was time for you to uh, follow your dreams uh, with this move. What about Portland and this project kind of fits into your dreams and what are you hoping to achieve here? Uh, I think, as I said, it's the project that the club has for me. And of course, together, we, we're going to do everything for this. Um, I, I was in Michigan for four years. And of course, I, I had to make the, the next step. And Portland is the next step for me, for my career. I'm 100% I'm, I'm sure that this is make me grow. And of course, I think we have a lot of things to achieve together. Thanks. And just as a quick follow-up, um, have you had the chance to see any previous Timbers games, how they've played, and uh, how excited are you about the atmosphere uh, at Providence Park? I didn't have the opportunity to watch any games because of the time difference. Uh, but I, I was watching, I was following the club, I was following some games, I was watching the highlights as well. Uh, but that's, that was everything that I could do. All right, next we'll go to Ryan Clark. Again, Evander, uh, just wanted to ask, um, going in, into this next season, um, obviously last year the the club needed a little more uh, on the attack and I'm wondering what you hope to be able to provide in that area sorry is there more time yes in the attacking uh position uh yeah what do you believe you can provide in that area um you know I'm 
I'm I'm gonna try to help the team in the best way. Um, I'm gonna try to do my best, you know, try to to you know give an assist, score some goals, and of course make make the team grows as well and me as well together grows with the team. And I just I'm just arriving the club to help, you know, not gonna make anything different that the thing that I've done. And I'm just going to play my football and enjoy with my teammates. All right, we have time for just a couple more. We'll go back to Tom Bogert. I just wanted to uh, follow up on a question from before. Uh, what club was it that you said came in with an offer at the beginning of the transfer window? I, I didn't quite catch it. Um, Galatasaray from Turkey. Okay, and, and was that something that you would have been interested in, in as well, or is it just kind of fell through? Um, was uh, thinking that it was almost done, but it didn't work between the clubs. It didn't have any deal, so that's why it didn't work. Okay, thank you. Go back to Nick Krupke. Evander, just more about yourself. Um, how big is this for your family to make this move? Obviously, uh, being so far away yet again, and uh, it's a whole new life and opportunity for you. And uh, what's your background, your upbringing, and how your family has been behind you every step of the way? Uh, for them, it's, it's a big thing. Um, they they have been with me all of my my career, and of course they 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 were watching me and in in Michelin and how hard it was to to stay there in this for four and a half years. So for them, it's 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 a big thing that that we achieve it together. And of course, coming to Portugal now, it's a big step for me, for my career, for them. And they are supporting me. Uh, we, are, we are very happy. And of course, we want to do more. All right, last three. Nick, go ahead. And then Ryan, then Tiago. I got to ask you, before you sat down, I saw a Herbie the Love Bug car on your shelf. Are you a big fan of the movie or what? Sorry? You had a Herbie the Love Bug car on the shelf behind you there. Is that yours? A little Volkswagen uh, car back there? This one here. Uh, it was down below. It was a white Volkswagen, number 53 from the oh, old movie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is that yours? It's just, yeah, it's mine. It's just something for for, for the room, you know, just, just something, something different. Yeah, something different. Okay, super cool. Off the wall question. Thanks, man. Yeah, no problem. All right, Ryan, go ahead. Evander, hey, obviously uh, there have been other players that have, have come from the Danish Superliga, uh, including Hani Mukhtar, who won MLS MVP last season. Uh, do you see yourself trying to, to achieve something like that to achieve a major individual award while you're there? Um, of course, but I have in mind that my main objective is with the club is you know, take the club to the top again. And of course, to win the, the MLS, I think it's the most important. If this happens, if I become an MVP player or something like that, it will be very, very, I'm, I'm going to be very proud and very happy, of course. But my main objective is to be the club, is win titles with the club, put the club on the top. All right, and last question from Tiago. Boa tarde, Evander. Thiago Brandão aqui do Brasil, do Território MLS. É, minha pergunta é, você teve um pouco de interesse de vários clubes europeus, é, direto surgia rumores de uma possível transferência sua para centros maiores da Europa e você acabou optando por vir para a MLS. Eu queria saber o que te fez vir para a MLS, é, da onde surgiu o interesse e o que você viu de potencial na liga para vir jogar aqui nos Estados Unidos. É... Então, acho que eu vi, eu vi uma oportunidade muito grande, um, um passo a mais na minha carreira, como eu disse. Quero quero mostrar mais uma vez que eu estou indo para a MLS só por causa do dinheiro, só por causa da, da boa vida, como eu disse na, nas perguntas anteriores. Quero provar que também é uma liga forte, que é uma liga que vem crescendo. né? É, que me fez vir para o Portland foi, foi os projetos que o clube tem comigo. E, claro, quero corresponder para que... que todo mundo sai ganhando também, né? É, fazer o meu melhor, é, dar o melhor para o clube, é, fazer de tudo para ganhar na MLS, 
que é uma liga que vem crescendo, cada vez vem chegando mais jogadores, com mais nomes, e, e acho que cada vez vem ganhando mais força também no, no cenário mundial. E mais uma pergunta, a gente vem acompanhando a Copa do Mundo. Queria saber se você vem acompanhando a Copa, vem torcendo para o Brasil. É, como está esse coração brasileiro no meio de tanto tempo aí na Dinamarca e agora nos Estados Unidos? Ah, com certeza. Estou tô, tô muito feliz com, com o que o Brasil vem apresentando. Né? Tenho acompanhado, sim. É, a gente sempre espera que, que o Brasil ganhe. Estamos torcendo. Acho que, que dessa vez o Hexa vem. O time vem jogando bem. A gente está torcendo e fazendo a nossa parte, e com certeza eles vão fazer a deles em campo. Tá bom, Ivander, obrigado. É. All right, we're going to wrap it there. Thank you so much, Ivander, for your time. We're so excited to have you in Portland, and it was great speaking with you today. Um, so right, we'll have appreciate it. Judah, you can stick around. Everyone else, please log off. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining.